Hello and welcome back. One thing we didn't talk about last time, and I'm really annoyed we didn't talk about it, is expertise points. Now, I get that, if I'm honest, don't look at anything you see around you. <laughs> there's, there's things I've been doing. I get it's going to tell us about it here, but I think realistically... Uh, uh, realistically, I can guess how you get expertise points. We have three, and we're level 15. I'm gonna imagine they come from every five levels you get one. One thing you can get is fortunate. Gain passive fortune levels that are applied whenever you break, whenever you use a fortune tool to break blocks. So we can get plus two to fortune for two of our points. So we're gonna do that now and what better way to test <laughs> Fortune 5 than to destroy what is a mammoth worth of stuff. Um, loads of chromatic iron, because we need a lot of that as well. And I thought this would be a very fun way to do this. So if I get the pick out that's Fortune. So this is Fortune 3. Plus 2 will be Fortune 5. And, if we are smart, we could come in here and do what I said I'd do in the last episode, which we didn't, and put maybe two points into Vein Miner. So now we can mine 16 blocks at a time. Let's chuck this away, all of, well, we'll keep the food on us, but we'll chuck the rest of this away. And as far as I'm aware, it's automatically equipped, unlike what we used to have to do, so we can just get breaking. So without further ado, let's start a, a speedy little montage again of me breaking down all of this. And that looks to be everything, and I think I've picked up everything. So let's have a look at this. Ooh. Well, one thing we needed a lot of was chromatic iron, and boy, do we. So much of it. Okay, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Eleven and a half stacks of chromatic iron. Ooh, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. And we've got a lot of smelting to do. So, I'm going to probably cut here and get all of this smelted down, and then we'll be right back. And we're back. So, after mining all of this with fortune, which I don't want to 
I don't want to ruin any of this movie magic here, but it was a couple of days ago. Um, <laughs> after doing all of that, we have plenty of stuff. It's all smelted down now. So if we look up uh, like ingot, we've got so much stuff. Wait, iron. Oh, I was like, do we have any iron? Um, so we've got all of that. This is getting a little bit annoying. Um, so we've got all of that done. Uh, we were doing quests last time, which if I look... Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. So in the shop the other day, uh, sometime after the recording, after the smelting and stuff, I saw that there was an unidentified relic for sale. I didn't record it, I forgot to. But we now have a water element. Uh, oh, and I can show this off now, which I didn't show off. <laughs> I've gone nuts. Okay, um, I decided to finally make use of the knowledge point we spent on... Um, oh my god, honestly, let me sleep to get rid of this rain. It's driving me insane. Okay, rain gone. Um, yeah, I decided to finally actually make use of the knowledge point we spent on... Um, drawers because we spent it and all we did was this for so long and I was like do you know what let's tidy the rest of it up so it's a little easier to identify so now everything has a place um, nice and tidily we still have our our stuff over here we still have little bits of random stuff down here oh that doesn't actually need to be in there um, we still have uh, I didn't mean to sort it necessarily we still have random bits down here um, I saw how to use this earlier. Yeah, we can also make these into chests, apparently. So I think we'll try this as well. Um, just to see what we get. Um, but yeah, so everything's a little bit tidier now, which is nice. Um, this stuff is still here. Oh, it said unidentified one. We already had a water one. Oh, okay, well, anyway... Um, it took a lot of uh, chromatic iron, though, to do all of this. Um, so we had to actually... Uh, I'm glad we used our fortune on all the chromatic iron I mined, because now we've got plenty more. We've also got our pog progress here, which is a bit easier to see than when it was in the chest. Now we've got the numbers, so we can see how many we've got of each, and we can just put the last two in eventually. And then, of course, these are, these are all locked, so I can take out, like, all eight of these... There's none left in there, but it still shows that that's where these go. Which is the same for all of these. They're all locked and numbered, so everything's nice and easy and organised. So let's get some of this wood really quickly. If we just take a stack for now. Because we can supposedly, what, do this and then make an altar chest, make an altar chest, wooden chest, wooden chest, wooden chest. And does this now spawn with loot? No. Um, okay. That feels useless. Um, we'll leave that stuff there for now, I guess. Uh, and we'll put this back. Once we can get a draw controller... Uh, yeah, this. So we need a pog, obviously. Um, once we can get this, though, everything will go much quicker. Because uh, we'll be able to put the draw controller there, right-click it, and then everything will just go away into its exact spots. Uh, so we're still looking for 13 Leomar. Um It would be nice, let's put this away for a second. What were we doing quests-wise last time? Sorry, I'm a bit ditzy. Uh, bounties and rewards, yes, yeah, so we need to finish a bounty uh, and that's fine. One thing I was considering doing though was making a repair core because this is basically dead. Is it just called a core? Repair core. Okay, maybe I just didn't see it. Which needs... Volterite Extraordinary Painite, which is 16 Painite. Do we have uh, enough Painite? Is that Painite? Yeah. So we have enough to make an Extraordinary Painite. So that's good. We then need... So we've got this bit. We need two Volt Essence. Volt Essence... There it is. 
two volt essence, and then we need to make Volterite ingots, which, which recipe is better for us? Probably this one, right? Although, much more, ex it's cheaper doing it this way, isn't it? Let's do it this way. So how many do we need? We need six. So that means we need two of these to break down. We need six netherite scrap. Plenty of that. Six netherite scrap. And then we need six of you to make... Oh, and six volt scrap. There. So now we can come and we can make our first Volterite ingots, which then we can use to make a repair core, which then we can take to an anvil and do this and this. And now that's repaired with looting and unbreaking. I don't think we can enchant it with anything else, can we? No. Okay, so that is that sorted. We can now, we can't put the gems away because I haven't got a slot for them. I put slots for them as um, perfect, maybe because we've got lots of layer mall. Maybe it might be better to change that up. I don't know. We'll have a look and see. For now, I've also made a crossbow with unbreaking, quick charge, piercing and mending, just because it felt like a, a good thing. Uh, and it fires nice and quick. We don't need this food, so let's actually, oh, this is why this food was in here, wasn't it? Because I think what we'll do is we're going to get ready for a vault. Let's actually grab two of you, a couple of you, just to eat while we make the vault. Um, because we need to do a bounty. Um, did we, in fact, spend those points? No, so we still have two points. We spent a couple into Vein Miner. We still have two points to spend at some point. I'm not entirely sure what I want to spend it on yet. I'm still a little conflicted. Um, part of me thinks maybe we should be saving it for haste, um, or putting some of it into extra souls we could do. We get 40% extra souls. That might not be bad, but we ha we don't really buy much. The soul shop's not great. It's very expensive for stuff, but I guess if we were getting more souls, it wouldn't be too bad. Let's leave it for now, though. Let's prep a... Oh, we've got one. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's chuck that on. So two redstone, 12 raw cod, 27 carrots, and five granite. Redstone, carrots, granite. I don't think we have the cod. So redstone. Uh, we need granite. Oh, and carrots, yeah. Ooh, we might not have enough granite. Uh, no, I think that's enough. Carrots, plenty. Carrots, plenty. Cod, though. We don't have any. So we're going to have to quickly go into the river, maybe, and try and get some of that. Let's chuck all of the... Oh, I clicked off. There we go, it's fine. Chuck all of that. So that's everything completed, bar the cod. And let's see if we can go and get some cod easily. Uh, wrong way, we want to go this way. And into the river. Ooh, don't break the carrots, please. Into the river. That co repair court was very expensive. I keep thinking that in my head. It was not thrilling to have spent that much on it, but... No cod at all. There's salmon, right? And this will only give us salmon, right? Or tuna. Whatever. Where do we get cod? Ooh, that's a big flower. Ooh, that's a big... Oh, no. It's just a normal flower. I'm trying to collect the Batania flowers at the same time so that when we do unlock Batania eventually, we don't have to mess around a huge amount. Because um, I, I do think it's a mod that I'd like to unlock and have access to. Um, here, cod, 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 cod. There's all salmon here. Do we have to, like, um, fish for cod? 
Okay. Let's go make a really good fishing rod then with the enchanting. I mean, it's not going to take us too long to get like luck of the sea, quick draw, whatever sort of thing. So we'll quickly do that. Maybe get some fortune on there and then um, try and do some fishing. So let me probably come back when I've got the cod that we need because well, I don't know how long this is going to take me. Right, so let's go and make this. It's boiling hot today. Like, boiling hot. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we have a fishing rod already? No. Rod? No, okay. So we need a string. I forgot that we don't have the crafting terminal in here. Uh, and sticks. Uh, and then open this. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, boop, boop. Do that. Do that. There's no better fishing rods, right? No. Okay, that's fine. So then we come over. Oh, we'll need the emeralds, probably. Mirror. Mirror. Emir. Chuck this in here. So. We want lure. Luck of the sea, we may as well just do that, and why not? For the sake of making just a, the, the uber rod. Uh, and let's sleep, because it's getting to night time. Oh, that's not my bed. Uh, it's over here. We were by it already. Uh, let's quickly jump in bed. Mm. Oh, sparkling water. Lovely. Right, let's see if we can catch some fish. We need code. Can we get code, please? Uh, here would be quite nice. Okay, here, it's fine. You don't want to be in front of the sugar cane. Right. <sighs> Such an idiot. <laughs> We've got lure three though, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? Puffer fish. Damn it. We need cod. I can't remember how much we need. Not the right fish. Come on. Not the right fish. Okay, cod, right. There's one. I think we need a fair few, though. Which is not great. Come on, there it is. There's the bubbles. Two. Here we go. Get me on a roll. Get me on a roll. Oh no, cod does spawn, yeah. I know what cod looks like when it's in the water. We just seem to only have tuna around here, which is not great. It might be quicker just to fly over the waters and find... Yeah, it's going to be quicker just to find some cod, isn't it? I thought maybe this would be the quicker method, but there's so many things that drop um, that I don't think it's going to be quicker. Uh, let's just put that way, that way, that way. Uh, let's get our elytra back. Um, how much do we need? 12, okay. Uh, there it is. Let's grab some food again. Equip that. Let's go and find a place where some cod might be. Right, let's just swoop over the waters. There's some fish over here, it seems. Right. Damn it, tuna. We're just looking at these yellow bubbles and basically looking for cod. Card. Tuna. Damn it. Where are the cards? This is going to be where I definitely end up spending a point on dash, just so I have it recovering quicker. That's a card. 
we've got looting on this, right? So we should... Oh, we only got one, but there's a couple more. Yeah, I think this is still quicker. Nice, okay, seven. There's more over there. Yeah, I don't know why I even insisted on the idea of doing the fishing. What are those, crabs? And back up. And down. Technically we've got enough now. Come here. Come here. Yes. I wonder if we could have put these guys in a... Um, in a... Uh, like a thingy. You know what I'm saying. In a jar. That's it. I wonder if we could put those guys in a jar and just farm them. I want to see these crabs. Show me the crab boys. Come on. Get me out of here. Uh... There's one over there, but there's a couple over here. What are you? You just a little coconut crab? Oh, look at that! You had a coconut on your back. I want to see what you drop. Well, you're very skittish. Well, you're very skittish. Come back. Crab claw. Cute. Uh, okay. Back home. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Is it worth speeding us up? No, probably not. Because we are literally whew, close to death. Lovely. Uh, we can come over here and throw this. We can then go and put the rest of this away. Uh, shunk, shunk. Take this off, put this on. Uh, we're going to come over here quickly grab a chicken to eat or two put this away okay we need one more thing we need a, a stack of oh, and a stack of you oh double clicking for some reason that's fine um and i think that's everything right so again we are looking to mine 13 leomar let's press the button now then and let's go into our vault nice and quick Took a bit of a time, but it's difficult when you don't have like one particular thing. Three monolith vault, that's fine. I quite, I, I do like a moni vault anyway. Perfect, and when it loads, lovely. Off we go. Right, so we have to remember to mark obviously because this is a vault where we need to come back to the exit once we've found everything. Uh, and let's get exploring then. Mostly looking for dig sites, realistically, um, because we're looking for the Leomar to complete our bounty. Mmm, doesn't look like things are loading. Oh, well, there's a monolith at least. Shouldn't have taken the full damage, really. Oh, oh, Christ. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can always do that. Lovely. Uh, okay, so one monolith in here already. Done. Let's... Oh, beautiful. We're all about speed. We, we were really quick in the last couple. So again, speed is key. Perfect. Got to make quick decisions about what we want to pick up. And done. Lovely. Okay, let's go back up then and go across probably because it doesn't look like there's much in this room at all uh, So we came in from that direction. We're going over this direction. Oh, well, there's some stuff over here actually One baby, that's it. Oh I hear pillagers which means there's a there is a um, challenge room in here somewhere. Probably down this way? Yeah, through here. You can see it on the map. If you look at the map, you can see the, the room. There we go. 
And with our pick being as fast as it is, we can probably... Before he kills us. There we go. Lovely. There's normally an easy way into these, but honestly, just quickly breaking your way in is probably going to just take less time for you. Uh, let's put you away, put you away. Grab you, grab you. Uh, we're looking for stuff that's useless, and we found it for sure. Uh, yes, lovely, yes, lovely. Cool. Oh, honestly, this was... Going into these is so worth it if you have the um, the ability to actually go in and do them. Because they are full of good loot. Um, we can probably just do this now. Anything that's useful will just pop into our inventory. Anything that's not will stay. Uh, but, 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 but we should be taking the wood realistically. Um... Oh, can I not open that chest? Oh, no, I can. Perfect. And, oh, a lovely, another netherite ingot. And that is all in the first room. We've basically filled our inventory very quickly, but very worth it. Okay, so we jump back up. We need to keep checking the map for those, actually, because if we miss those, that'll be a little bit annoying. Let's chuck this down and put in all of this. Let's keep that on us. Let's keep this on us as well. Yeah, there you go. That's a good way to keep our hotbar. Uh, we can even throw this... Oh, we can't throw the chicken away, obviously. Um, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. Let's put this over here, because it's kind of used. Uh, and let's move on. What did it... Five minutes in this first room. Oof. Took a bit of time, but we got a lot of loot. No mining done yet, and we need Leomar. Thirteen, I believe. Uh, okay, next room. Nothing in the, like, obvious vicinity. Let's see if we can work our way down. We can. Okay. Perfect. Uh, still hear people, but I don't see them for now. Where are they? They're coming for me. I hear them. Mm, doesn't look like there's a, uh, what's it called down here, a monolith, which is a bit of a shame, because we could do with another monolith. We've already spent five minutes and we've only found one. There we go. These are the people that spawned earlier. Oh, perfect. In a dig site as well. Is that a bow skeleton right there? Yeah, it is. Bow skeletons will be bad for us, because they can range us. Oh, Christ, Christ, Christ. There we go, gone. Okay, dig site here. Let's just quickly whiz through this. Perfect. Make sure we pick everything up. Bounty complete. Love that. Uh, I didn't realise we only needed that much. Um, cool. Let's loot then. That's good though. Nice and quick bounty done. Let's put back some useless stuff. Put back some useless stuff. There we go. And only pick up the good stuff. Oh my god, we don't have enough room for all of this. That's the, the biggest problem is... I just love a bigger inventory, so we had to spend less time doing stuff. Uh, what's over here? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, got him. That's fine. We could do with trying to speed up our collection of uh, knowledge, because we are lacking a little bit in knowledge essence and how to make uh, knowledge stars, all of that useful stuff. Uh, let's pick that back up for a second. Oh, did we put away our arrows? Yes, we did. Let's just grab that back. I think our pick is too fast, if I'm honest. Uh, it's not something you normally care about, but 
I think it's a little too quick and it's causing some issues when trying to do anything. Let's eat this. We could do with also finding some living chests, saying that, because we could do with restocking our cooked meat. I like the little miner zombies, they're quite cute to be fair. That looks to be good, and I think we need to move on fairly quick. Oh, poison. Oh my god, we just dodged that. Cool. Let's just move on. We've done our bounty, which is good. Uh, we can just come straight back up and move on to the next room, I think. We've got 16 minutes, and we still need to find two uh, more... Uh, monoliths. So let's just go, because I, I doubt there's one up there, so let's just go straight across again. And have a quick look. Might be worth it this time. Oh, perfect. I was going to say maybe finding the monolith and just moving on. Uh, we might have a quick look, considering we found it so quick. Uh, nope, time to put down another shulker. I believe it is time to shulker up. Lovely. Let's break that. And grab the goodies. Grab the goodies and move. Oh, someone else spawned. Above, maybe? Not sure where, actually. Oh, below? Possibly below. I don't see much use in here right now. Um, so I am actually just going to move across. Would be nice to find some some of the legendary rooms and stuff. Um, would be good to to get some nice rooms. Oh, this could be a good room. This might be a dig room. It's quite a shallow ceiling, so that normally means there's lots of digging opportunity. Like this, I think, is a dig, right? Yeah, this is a dig, right? Yeah, see? I was right. And we want plenty of stuff to to dig. Oh, we need to uh, do that. There we go. Make sure that we're finding everything that's hidden in here. Uh, looks to be it, to be fair. I don't think there's... Oh, there's... M no, that's the bottom of the world. Okay, can we climb this rope? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, in which case... Let's go look for some other digs in here. I think I already saw one though. Uh, over there, yeah. Perfect, right. Uh, heal. Oh man. Uh, okay. Swap to silk touch and vein miner. Oh god. Uh, doesn't look to be anything in this one actually. Which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Uh, they've mined this place dry. Bloody dry, I tell you. Not even a chest in here, actually. I've just realised that we haven't found even a chest. Even a single chest. Terrible. Oh, there you go. There's some more upstairs, though. So, let's go up. Still need to find a monolith. We're running out of time to find one more. Ten minutes, obviously, is not running out of time, bear that in mind, but I am a scaredy boy, and I like to have as much time as possible to achieve my goals. Oh, I think that's everyone. Oh, no, it's not. Now that's everyone. Lovely. We would like some veniotite. Ah, uh -huh. lovely. Ask, and you shall receive... Uh, not all the time, but currently it worked out in our favour. Uh, we would like to pick this up as well. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Some of these are just empty, I think. They're just little, uh, like, kind of like outcroppings. Almost like, I like to imagine it, where they've moved rocks to. Oh yeah, we're still looking for also the two ores... So these two, Gorgonite and Xenium, to complete our um, 
to complete our uh, what should we call it? Pog. I think that's a scallium again. No gorgonite or xenium? Of course not, because why would you give us something that would be useful? Yeah, it was a scallion. Uh, that's good. Okay, nothing else goes in here? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I would like to find a chest to actually bin some of our stuff, because it looks like we've got a lot of useless stuff. Uh, come on, gorgonite and xenium. Gimme. We've got more bloody um, of the rarest ore than we do have of the stuff to make our pogs, which is a bit nuts. Come on. Ooh, I mean, that's Ashium, I think, but it's not what we need. Um, yeah, Ashium. Uh, has that allowed us to pick everything up at least? Yeah, and then we just need to break this. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, we're not finding the last two, which I don't think they're the rarest ones, actually. I think there there is rarity to them, but I don't think those two are the, like, ultimate rares when it comes to the pog ores, which is a bit annoying. Um, let's move on, though. I'm glad we repaired our sword, though. I think it's a good sword for now. It's doing us quite well. Is this another dig site room, maybe? Give us some ores. Give us the ores we need, possibly? Question mark? Exclamation mark? Uh, tab? Oh, that's a bomb ignite. I'm trying to remember all the ore names. I'm trying to be good for it. Uh, what's this? Some sort of room? Okay. Uh, it's a cute room. Nothing particular. Oh, we can dump all of this useless stuff, though. Uh, useless, 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 useless. Ooh. Useless. Uh, sort. Yeah, let's keep the rest of that for now. Um, yeah, it's, it's a cute room, but... Not exactly useful. Yeah, I mean we could we could mine some of these like dense blocks, but it's not what we're we're needing right now. We are dipping down below ten minutes now, and still have one more monolith to find. Not great, but not terrible. Come on, let me up. God damn it. Ugh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Now, we're just looking. Oh, baby zombies and spiders. Biggest difficulty, early game vault hunters. Well, I say that. I don't know what difficulties come in late game. They might be the same difficulty. But... It's just one of these, like dead village rooms basically it looks like which is not terrible not bad um, that spawned some guys no problem uh, more guys more experience oh he got poisoned suck it loser loser uh, do that let's get rid of that for now and you dead. Okay. Um, nothing great in this room either. We go one more room along, maybe we'll find another dig room. Because um, again, need these two. So that's our way out. Let's go one more across. This will be where we find like a legendary room that would have been great to have spent 20 minutes in or something. Like a mines room. I think that's still a thing where you get like a, just a huge mine. Uh, oh, well, this'll do either way. This'll do very nicely. Okay, we're going down. We're going down, we're mining quick. This is where our pickaxe does do us quite good because we can equip this 
Uh, and then when we break blocks, oh, that's another rare ore to be fair. Uh, we need to, you know what we need to do? We need to do this and let's just put everything away for a second. Uh, and now we can go real quick. Um, come on. Give me what we want. Come on. We're getting plenty of Benia type, which is good. But none of... Ooh, that's a, a good one, though. Pins and night. Come on. Black opal. Nothing, okay. Uh, oh, come on. Six minutes. We've got the rest of this room to explore. Let's go over to this one. Let's do that. Uh, do that. Come on. Uh, do that. And we go. Come on. Give me the good stuff. Bomb Ignite is still good. It's still good, but it's not good enough. Oh, this is painful. Damn it. Still no decent ores. This one? It's another dig. Are there other digs over here? No, okay. Right, so there's two more, I think, in here. This one is below some grates. Uh, it literally had nothing in it. Great. Uh, just what I wanted. Let's just open this quickly to chuck these bits away. This, this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's come over to here. This is another... There we go. Oh. Right. Mine. Give me the rare ores. Come on. Be cool. Be cool. Damn it. And we're doing a good job of emptying these out. Like, it's not like we're, we're missing blocks to dig. We are digging everything. Oh. We're going to lose some because our magnet's not good enough. Um, well, we came down over here, so let's just, uh, here. Let's build up, see if there's any upstairs. Because there isn't up to this place, isn't there? Yeah. Is there an easy way up? No, it doesn't look like it. Come on. I think we deserve a pog by now. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but I definitely think at least a pog would be nice. This is to kill things, monster kills. We need a spawner, and it needs to spawn a fair few people. One, two, is three, but that is not five down here. Uh, equip this. Come on. Nothing. Damn it. Come on. We've got three minutes. We're going to have to start bouncing soon. Don't think there's enough monsters to kill around here to activate that, is there? Nope. That's fine then. Well, we tried our hardest, but I think let's start heading back. Let's make sure we've got all of our, yeah. All of our things. Nope, I, I thought for a second we had got one of them. Bit of a shame, is what it is. Uh, we'll have to do another vault and get some more digging going. I mean, we've still got time. Maybe we left and right 
or maybe go left or right at the like far end room closest to home. Uh, that might not be the worst idea. Ooh, our dash is good inside the vault though for just getting back a little quicker. Uh, I think the last one had a big jump in between, right? Yeah, no, not this one. Next one, I think. Yeah, yeah, because this one we, we found that. Oh, come on. Speed is key. Yeah, I'm glad we started running back at least, because I didn't realize how far we've traveled. I think this is the second room we came in. So we should be going into the first room, which should have a big gap before the exit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So our portal's through there. Let's maybe just check through here for a second. It's going to take us maybe like a minute to get back. If we're lucky, should be about a minute. Uh, is this going to be a dig room? Anything? There's a dig. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Select that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give us one of them, at least. <sighs> What's the time looking like? Uh, 56 seconds. <sighs> I am afraid we're going to leave because 56 seconds is probably just enough time for us to get out. We didn't mark the way we came in though. Oh, shite. Shite, 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 shite. We might not make it out of this vault. We're not making it out. We're not making it out that way. Um, we didn't see the monolith, I don't think. So I think we came from this way. Oh, God, 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 God. 20 seconds. 17. Oh, shoot. I've never heard this noise. This room? Yeah, yeah, this room. We're not making it. We're not making it. Oh, we greeted. We greeted. <sighs> it's the first time we've never made it out of a vault before. We've died in vaults before, but never failed so badly. We were so close as well. Like, one more... If we had had ten more seconds we would have made it out. That's a shame. Our magnet's almost dead as well. Let's put down all of our ores at least. Uh, down there. I mean, it was an ore run anyway. We still completed the bounty, right? Yeah, it still counts. So we can at least do that for the, the good stuff. Uh, Check that away. Other ores. We've got Tubium, Wootenite. Uh, that's one that we don't have on our bar. Yeah, so we did okay on ores, to be fair. Like, this will be, even with, because we'll get Fortune 5 on all of this, we'll, uh, we'll do quite well off of it. Let's place this down. A lot of Beniatite, actually. We might be able to make another Knowledge Star. Tons of layer mar. <laughs> Almost a full stack. <laughs> Look at how much digging we did, and we didn't find a, a single... Well, we found legendary ores, obviously. We found a fair few. We just didn't find a single one of the ones we need, which sucks. Um, we need to make a new magnet as well, I think. Uh, oh my god, so much to place. And then, one, two three of the legendary ones. These will just go over here with the other ones for now. Right, let's try and put away our stuff then, uh, the best we can, and try and use this new storage system. Uh, okay. Let's grab everything. Oh, hello. Uh, right. 
I reckon if I just basically bash everything, this works, right? <laughs> it's a bit crude. Um, and it won't work, obviously, for everything. Oh, we wanted to put chromatic ore here, actually. So that works out quite nicely. Uh, we put apples over here. Uh, this. I know we've got one for carbon. Nuggets we definitely don't have one for. We do have one for plates, though. Uh, and that's that. It's, it's actually quite quick now to put the stuff away, which is quite nice. Uh, right. So, I know we won't have one for that. We will. We do have one for nuggets, though. Uh, that. That. Let's just hit... Oh, my God! Why are they jump-scaring me? What have I done to them to deserve this? Uh, over here, we hit some of these main ones just to kind of check. That should be a yeah, pretty much empty most of it out, and then anything that's left. Oh, we definitely hit the nuggets. It's unfair. Uh, anything else that's left is probably going in here. Lots of this. Yeah, I mean, I'll put those in there for now. I'll put this away for now. Let's chuck away. How much did we get? 352. We didn't check our start, to be fair. Uh, but let's put away some of this stuff. Yeah, lovely. Then let's finish off emptying these out. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Bit of a shame we died, but you can't win them all. Or can you? Uh, I can't wait to get a draw controller. It's the only thing I want the pog for right now, is so that we can bash the draw controller once and just put all of this away so easily. But, there you go. It's not too slow at this point. Right, where, where are these people that are whizzing around me? Getting furious. Uh, okay, so let's get our fortune pick. Pick with... Not the chromatic one. Let's just get this one. The fortune three, which... With our buff, we actually get Fortune 5. So, we got 60 Leomar. Let's see how much Leomar that turns into with Fortune 5. Oh, two and a half stacks. Beniotite we had 16 of. We now have 39. Oh, this is disgustingly good. Uh, we want to put all of this away. So we've got some more Bomb Ignite, which is good. Uh, didn't get any of that. Did get some Tubium. No Sparkle Teen. Did get some Ashium. Did get a Penzonite. And then Black Opal. Lovely. So we can come over here. We can do that. 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 And that. Still, our max is two. Yeah. Um... Maybe I should change these into regular. Let's do that. Let's change these into regular. It's a lot, but unlock the draw. Then let's put these back in. So that one, that one, that one, and that one are the ones we're storing right now. Then let's lock it again. Let's then break all of these down. If we have to make a draw upgrade, we have to make a draw upgrade. I think I'd rather store them as individuals. Yeah, so we're already going to have to make a draw upgrade. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Wootenite, we still just kind of store here for now. At least now, though, I can grab out all of these bits. 
uh, without having to put them in here. Um, but let's make a draw upgrade. Uh, what do we need? Let's make a gold one, I think, which needs... Do we have any of those left? We did have to make a couple. No, okay. So this uh, requires a draw initially. Ugh, honestly, there's a lot that's going to go into just making this upgrade. So we need some wood. Right. We then need some driftwood. We then need some of this. Right. So... Right. So we need to make the template first, which requires the us to make a normal draw which is just this plus this way round or it's the other way round no so it's the other way round yeah okay normal draw then we need chromatic steel and four magic silk so chromatic steel two four magic silk now we can make this, which allows us to make four, so it's not too bad. We could do this. Four diamonds. What? How many diamonds do we have? 48. Let's do this, because it's, it's going to be one of those things that we're probably going to get a lot of layer mark, uh, and being able to upgrade it is probably quite nice. Put the magic silk away, put this away, put this away, and we're all good. Cool. Little bit of a just sort of uh, lifestyle upgrade there. We might be able to level up though. Let's see, five might take us there. No, shame. Uh, let's put the rest of this away then. So we put our pick away, put the book away, put that away, that way. We've got the shards for now. That goes there, that goes there. Well, that was a bit unfortunate. Um, we've got two other runs that we can do. So, objective, complete elixir of vault. And we get 12 vault ingots, seven beniatite, and a lot of emeralds. Or, mine wootenite, get two gold, painite, knowledge essence, and netherite. Both aren't bad. Let's actually see. I think we can make another knowledge essence. So we do this first. Yes, I think we can, in fact. Four of you makes one of you. Plus that makes that. I'm trying to remember how to do it off the top of my head. Hey, another knowledge essence. Oh, and we can come into the book. And we can complete this, acquire a tool station. Oh my god, that was a lot of stuff we've just picked up there. Oh, and we broke another block. Oh my god. Uh, put those in there. So we've done the tool station. Uh, vault tools. Craft a chromatic iron pick. We can do that just for the sake of the thing, right? Put all of this back in. Christ, it just exploded out. Um... So two driftwood, nine iron. There we go. Let's just, for the sake of the quest, craft a chromatic iron pick. Just to kind of blitz through some of these a little bit. Apply a jewel to a vault tool. So I've been thinking recently, I saw someone, well, when I, saw, when I say someone, I mean the, the actual creator of this mod pack doing... That's really good. Uh, actually using uh, the affinities. Um, and I didn't realise how good they were. 70. So we couldn't do these three. Wood affinity that we could do. Um, and actually uh, using them on tools. Because apparently they work different to how I remember them working. So, let's take all of these, and let's apply them, oh wait, 
on it. This one is a size 10. So now this one can mine ornate chests. We need another... We need another um, anvil. Do we have a spare? Because it fully breaks them. Anvil, yeah we do. We have a couple damaged ones. That's fine. Um, and it actually looks quite useful. So I might make a pick just for breaking the chests. At which point it kind of means this pick is useless, but we'll see. For now, oh, uh, do that. Then we come over here and we'll give it efficiency. Uh, what are we missing? Emeralds. Oh, okay. Uh, we need to get emeralds, but I don't know if we, I think we just spent them all, right? Ugh. Yeah, we did. Uh, in which case... Um, paper, books, it's not going to be easy, but we might do this off camera, uh, make this into a really good um, pick for digging chests and stuff. So what are we missing right now? We've got ornate, living, gilded, wooden, technically all we're missing is the coin affinity, um, which I just don't think we have right now. So I'll leave this in here, but... That completes this. Now, this one is talking about expertise, which we talked about in the last episode, which I did state you get one every five levels. So, makes sense. So we can complete that. This one now says acquire a vault forge, which is this one. Lovely. Just trying to catch us up on the quests a little bit, because we know what we're doing with some of these. Um, so we put that back down. God damn give this thing all of its stuff back. Uh, keep that for now. Yeah. Um, so acquire a vault forge. Lovely. Forge a magnet, which is great because we were just saying how we kind of wanted another magnet anyway. So we need one netherite ingot. That's fine. We can do that because I think ours is at yeah, 4%. Netherite ingot. We got a couple from that last vault already. So feeling good. Uh, we can come and craft this at level 15. Perfect. So it makes us 0.1% proficient with them. Perfect. So we can roll this to see what we get. We might get something half good. Okay, we get a normal magnet. That's fine. Um, compared to our other magnet, though, it has insane durability. Um... It has better range, better velocity, and it has a prefix on it with better reach. So, who could be mad at that? Uh, it's actually just overall a better magnet. Perfect. So now it wants us to acquire an artisan table. So basically going through all of these, which we already have. Uh, so we can put this back down, and we can say we know what an artisan table is. So now re-roll a gear piece with a wild focus. So we could re-roll our magnet. Plus two range. Oh, so that's really good. That was actually better than what it was. Because it was like plus point something. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That's more range. I see. Oh, okay, that's really good, actually. So that gives us a total of 5.6 range, which is oh, really good. So we can actually probably just come in here, take this off, put this on. Um, perfect. Scrapping gear, because let's go and scrap this old magnet now. Let's put this down, let's grab our scrapper, and scrap this boy for nothing. Perfect. Uh, so we've got the scrapper, craft a plain burger. Ugh. <sighs> God damn our idiocy. If only we weren't so goddamn dumb. Uh, we might have held on to that for a second. Um, but that's fine. Let's put our... So you can put the money down. Let's put our gold here. And our one platinum. Which, I can't remember how much gold that turns into. Nine gold. Oh, uh, well, let's... I didn't realise it was only nine. Let's just do that. Uh, we can put our money back in here. Uh, we can put these back into here. 
Uh, that can go away. And then the gems can go away. Right, so this is what we needed, unfortunately. Um, we can't make a burger currently, which is a bit annoying. Uh, then it's to get to level 10, which we've done. Then it's to run an elixir vault, which we can do, that's fine. God altars, we kind of know about. Black market goods, we kind of know about. N using knowledge, we've got one to spend. We've got a lot of stuff to spend. So let's have a look at the expertise again, now that we've actually got to this point. I don't know what's better. So when applying a normal catalyst, we haven't done any catalyst stuff right now. Gain a resistance to crystal instability when modifying. We haven't mod really modified them yet. Gain a chance not to consume or use your trinkets when entering a vault. I don't know what trinkets are. Divine. Gain a base level of affinity for all gods. Right. We've not done anything with the gods yet. Unbreakable. Passively adds a chance not of losing durability on your gear. Meh. Cost reduction. Meh. Artisan. Gain a chance not to consume crafting potential when re-rolling vault gear. Eh. This one's quite nice. Get 500% vanilla experience. This one is also quite nice. Gain a chance to have a lucky roll where uh, is crystal cost is lowered by 90%. And this one is very good. Because at level 3, you get to have two... Um, two bounties active. So the bounty wait period talks about this one, where it's going to take an hour and four, like two hours, I think, to re-roll. Whereas if we took this skill, it would only take 30 minutes. Then there's the reduce the abandon penalty to 30 minutes as well, and then this one, which is quite good. So I think it's between these two currently. Um, I lean quite heavily towards the experience game because 500% experience is pretty good. Um, let's get some food while we, we think about this. Um, like having that much experience would be quite nice coming in. We also though have two points to spend which we could spend on stone skin. Your skin hardens gain extra knockback resistance when above 80% health. Yeah, it's okay. Witchery, on the other hand, gain extra souls while killing mobs with full mana is pretty good because we would get a fair few extra souls. We could do 40%. Um, we're not really using the potions that much, so I'm not looking at those right now. Increase your damage, again, quite good, but... Eh. Um... Part of me thinks two points here, because our heal's quite good for now. Um, and I don't think there's anything besides putting one into heal and one into dash, for example, which would give us a cooldown of twelve seconds, mana cost slightly more, but distance would be like again add another one, and this would be cooldown of nine seconds heal I think let's take that and let's take the dash I like dash um, and we're using it a little bit more to get around in vaults as well what was that noise the hell was that noise I have no idea what is this thing that's like gliding around over here? It's probably a bat underground, isn't it? That's fine then. Um, ow. Uh, and we've still got, so we do have actually, ooh, uh, one thing I did want to do was possibly look at pouches. Um, the ability to craft and pick up upgrades. Yeah, I think we wanted an upgrade into pouches, right? Because we're far off from anything else right now, besides colossal chests, which uh, I don't think there's a need for. Um, these stuff, like pipes, pointless for us for now. Dark utilities. Uh, utilities for mob farming, moving entities, and pointless kind of. Uh, we don't have enough, don't have enough, don't have enough. 
Easy villagers, snared, pointless. Uh, easy, pointless, pointless. This we can't do. Elevators would be nice. Compasses are nice, but realistically, we just use our block system anyway. Trash cans are pointless. Torch mod would be nice, but meh. Waystones, we don't really travel to different places. Flux, pointless, power, pointless. Iron generators, again, we'll need them for Effie at some point, but not necessarily right now. So I think pouches would be really nice. It's going to cost three to get our next pouch, which is very costly. But now we can make pouches, which if I look uh, at how, oh, how, what mod is this under? Sophisticated backpacks, oh, okay. Okay, right. So we can currently make these ones. I don't think we can make the double, right? Because the double is uh, double pouches, yeah. So we can currently make the normal pouches, though, these little ones, which needs a bundle, which needs two rabbit hides, and some magic stuff. Oh, talking of rabbit hides, I don't even know if I did this on camera. I finally went and found rabbits, and I found a gold one. So it's very cool. Um, but let's see if we can make ourselves one of these. So we're just going to make... Oh, we can make a blue one. Oh, we dye it afterwards. That's fine. Okay. So let's for now make this, which needs this. Magic silk block. Perfect layer mark. That was very easy to make. Um, so we need rabbit. We've got two of those already. That's fine. We'll grab four because um, we might make two if we can. I don't, I don't know how they work. Uh, let's grab a stack of that, uh, a stack of Leomar, uh, some Vault Essence, and let's see about making these. So we make one of you initially to make then uh, three of you, uh, one of you, and then we should be able to make you, which now these can have upgrades, so it can have two. And I think you can filter it. Player, yeah, there's so many options. Uh, sort, remember, items. So we can, what we can do is makes the backpack pick up items. Makes the backpack pick up items has more filtering options. Oh, okay. So making stuff like this would be useful um, because we can have it now pick up items on the ground and put specific things in here rather than it us having to put them into the back. So like common things that get picked up, we could all put in here. So maybe making, let's just that and that for a second. Maybe making the pickup one would be good. The filter upgrade might also be good. Uh, feeding upgrade, pointless. Void upgrade, meh. Restock upgrade, meh. Deposit upgrade, meh. Refill upgrade, meh stack upgrade yeah so this might also be good multiplies the number of stacks that can fit in a slot by two so for example you could have 128 items per slot um which would be quite nice so what does that cost to make what does it cost to make like the the big one a pog does this require a pog this requires two pogs so we could make the gold one quite possibly which would be four okay so let's see so I think we definitely want the pickup one. So let's look at making this first. So we're gonna need a lot of stuff, but it also fits in our backpack slot. And then we can open it with B, which is quite nice. Uh, and we can rotate, uh, toggle color, oh, okay. Don't know what that means. Uh, we can do memory. I think if we if we get all of the items we want and do memory, allows selecting to remember contents and only allows matching stacked in those. I think possibly if we do memory, we can um, we can avoid getting the filter upgrade, which would be nice because I'd rather have the stack upgrade. Um, so let's let's try and make these. So we're going to need to make at least two of these. So what do we need? Two per. Uh, so we're gonna need four perfect layer mar. We're gonna need 
to a U. What are we missing now? Chromatic iron, got it. Grab a stack of U. And let's make two. So let's first make the pickup one, which requires a redstone block, chromatic steel times two, uh, a sticky piston, which I think we have some slime. So we need a redstone block. Uh, let's just do two. Um, we need slime. Yep, one of those. And we need the stuff. So we need redstone. Uh, we need iron. Wood. Oak. Uh, there we go. Let's just do that. And then cobble. Let's do that. Let's then make a piston. Uh, right, let's just make two. Let's make one of you. Right, what are we missing now to make the regular one? Just two diamonds. Got it. Okay. So we come over here. Two vault diamonds will allow us to make the base upgrade. Right. So now if we go B, we can put this here. And now we can filter pick up. Oh, so we can block things or match backpacks content. Perfect. Okay. So we'll just do match backpacks content, which is good, I think. But let's see about doing the advanced one. What would we need? Two gold block. Well, let's not do that yet then. Let's instead get the stack upgrade one, which is two diamonds and... Sorry about that. Uh, two diamonds and then two perfect Leomar again. So we can make this one. And we know we definitely just want to straight up upgrade that into... Oh my god, okay. That is a fair bit of our Leomar, but that's fine. Uh, we do that. Four, one, two, three, four. Do that. We need two of those. Right. Then we need two, four chromatic steel blocks. Oof. But this will benefit us in the long run. Uh, do that. Then we're just missing two vault diamonds. And that will then make us the better one. Oh, requires double pouches. Shit. That's annoying. Okay, well, that's fine. So I'm imagining requires research belts. Oh, I see. So we can only do what we've done right now then. Because we need otherwise double belts. I see. Okay. So for now then, we can at least do pickup upgrade and this. On the pickup upgrade, we can say match backpacks content then on the backpack settings what we need to do is we need to put away all of our stuff first let's put away all of our stuff right yep yeah, that's good and then we're gonna put the things that we want the backpack to only pick up in our inventory then we're going to put it into the backpack and then see how that works so we want for sure uh, only well one of one okay fine uh, see what else do we normally get none of that we get a lot of that we get the nuggets let's make sure the nuggets go on our inventory let's do that 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 okay right so if I open the backpack and I say we do food in this top row we then do nuggets and ores oh wait uh, nugget, 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 that, 
that, that, that, that there. We then do sort of miscellaneous stuff here. Would be nice to have had burger parts to put in here. Wait a second. What's happening? Wait. I've duplicated the backpack somehow. Interesting. When did that happen? And how? I'm not going to complain, but I definitely didn't make two. But that's fine. Um, we can use the other one for other things. Um, right, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, I got a bit confused by that. Um, let's get one of those, one of those. At least we can have these honours, which would be good. Let's leave a space, actually, for... Um, for so then select all slots save now if we remove all of this stuff yeah so now if we remove all of this right and we throw it on the floor not too sure why the first thing didn't go in Oh, we didn't put this in. But now it all goes into the slots, which is perfect. Okay. Well, that feels really good. Um, and I think you can have multiple on you. So we can put this one on our back. And we can use this one, I guess, for other things. Sure. Um... For now, let's leave it, um, because to use it properly, I'd need to make the mods for it. Oh, our boots broke. Oh, we need new boots. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure. 10, 10, 10, 12. Right. Common, rare. These are probably the best ones. We could maybe re-roll them, though. Uh, add new modifier. There you go, plus two. At least that's a bit better. Uh, and we, could, we should really enchant them, but they're not like keeper boots necessarily. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, we can, if we throw this on the floor, it goes into the bag, and then all we do is we press B, and then we can get it all out, and then we can put it all away. Beautiful. Uh, okay, nuggets. Uh, put that away. That away. That away. That away. One of those, one of those, one of those. Uh, one of those, then one of each of those, and now we'll pick up stuff so much easier. In fact, I could do with adding uh, silver and copper in there as well. Let's do uh, copper, silver. There we go. Now, if we go B, we can take these out, and at least then they'll also go in there, which is going to save us so much time in uh, emptying our stuff constantly into the shulkers. Because now we can hold what? Yeah, so 128 of all of these items before it's going to start to clutter our inventory, which is so good. Okay, cool. Well, that was very productive. This pick is so good, but too good. Um, okay, cool. So we made a bag, which I'm very happy with. This is gonna make our this is gonna make our looting much quicker. 
We made uh, a pick that should be able to mine chests really fast, which we will, especially with the backpack in mind, we should be able to uh, use really efficiently. We've got a new magnet, which is really good. Uh, cool. Um, I need to go and maybe get this enchanted off screen, but that's going to require doing a lot of trading. We could probably get started while I sort of wrap up this episode, which is what's happening, unfortunately. Um, uh, but yeah, so I think we've we've had a really productive one. Oh my god, that was nothing. Um, uh, we've had a really productive one, I think. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff done. Uh, and probably what we'll do is I might even record again today. Because uh, I'm, I'm enjoying myself and the the fail that we had earlier did not feel great. Um, efficiency 5 is what we want on there. Unbreaking is what we want on there. And I don't think we care about Silk Touch. So actually that's done already. I can tick that off of my list and probably just dive straight back into a, a vault at this rate. But for now... Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's maybe a bit of a scattered one, and we've kind of done little bits everywhere, but we're kind of trying to get to maybe around here in the the actual overview um, so that then we can start to look at things that we've never done before, like spirit extractor, infused catalysts, uh, storing gear, all sorts of this stuff. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.